Good afternoon. This is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for St. John in Maxville, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and on SandylandCenter.org, our website. Today is Friday, the 7th of October. It's 80 degrees at noontime here in the square. Well, uh, Friday and Saturday we're having uh, scattered thunderstorms. Uh, 85 on Friday, 75 on Saturday, with a 40% chance of rain today and a 60% chance of rain tomorrow. Uh, then on uh, Sunday, again thunderstorms uh, with a 40% chance of rain and 69 the high temperature. Then Monday, uh, just showers and uh, 71, but there's just a slight chance of showers. And then uh, partly cloudy on Tuesday, 77 the high. And Wednesday, back to sunny, but only 74, so that'll be a perfect day to do things outside. <coughs> now, uh, our coming up uh, broadcasts uh, on uh, Sunday... At uh, 1 o'clock, the Board of Education meeting for Monday will be on for USD 350. And we thank Farm Bureau from St. John for uh, sponsoring the broadcast of the school board. <coughs> then the Shepherd Center will be closed on uh, Monday. And uh, so uh, there will be no news Monday. And, uh, just if you've got to get an ad on, you want to bring it in early tomorrow uh, in, or early today to get it uh, done. Anyway, uh, the, uh, the birthdays, since we'll be closed, we'll do a bunch of them. Uh, Friday for birthdays, we have uh, Jim Smith and Melinda Mercer, and we have uh, Mel and Connie Chesbauer at anniversary. So, happy event to all of you. Then on Sunday, Judy Shelton, happy birthday. On Monday, Laurie Messick, happy birthday. And on Tuesday, uh, Robert Frink, happy birthday. We hope that you enjoy your birthdays and anniversaries and that if we do get rain, it's not when you're having your outside party. <coughs> then uh, Saturday the 8th, uh, the Wichita Model A Club is coming to town, and there'll be 35 or so Model A's in the square. And the Science Museum is sponsoring uh, this tour, and they're coming to visit the Science Museum uh, in order to uh, take advantage of the fact that they'll all be here. The Hall Museum will be open. Uh, the library, I think, will have some special things. And uh, so we welcome the... Uh, Model A Club of Wichita to uh, St. John. And we thank the Science Museum for sponsoring this tour and uh, bringing people into the city. And we hope they all uh, uh, do some shopping at wherever anything is open and, uh, <coughs> and that will help the city out. Now, at this time, uh, we'll have uh, the school news. So here is the school news. Welcome back, this is Tiger News, and I am Kendra Hacker, and I'm here with Brandon, and he will be doing sports later in the show, but today at 7 o'clock is the high school football game at Coldwater, so good luck guys, and to be, um, uh, to be discovered later time, regional tennis, um, at 8, on the 8th, it, at 9 a.m. is the junior high volleyball A team tournament at lacrosse. So good luck, girls. And then on the 10th at 6 o'clock is the high school JV football game at Claflin. So good luck again, boys. And the 11th, we have school pictures. So dress pretty, look nice, and smile good. At 4, we have the high school volleyball game at War Wichita Word of Life. 
And at the 12th is the PSAT, which is for juniors and sophomores. So put those thinking caps on and get ready for that. The 13th at 4 o'clock is the high school cross country at Kinsley. That's a very hard course. Run hard. Um, the Kansas Le Learning Center for Health will be there at the school, and it's for grades 1st through 6th. And the 14th is high school football here versus Pretty Prairie. And in lunch, next week for on Monday is hot dog. 11th is chicken noodles. 12th is chicken fajita. The 13th is chicken fried steak. And the 14th is beef, beef quesadilla. Now, today's lunch is cheeseburger, french fries, baby carrots, and watermelon and milk. How was it, Brandon? It was good. Yay! <laughs> so, and now we'll have, oh, and, drum roll please, to the school musical is Cinderella. And so the casting will be coming out for that soon. And in FCCLA, there was a meeting yesterday a new award has come out for the FCCLA about the magical member. A magical member is a member that has caused a big difference in their chapter and the president and myself, who I'm the historian of FCCLA, we talked about it and we talked with our um, sponsor and we decided to have Jeffrey Gleason be the nominated, be our nomination from our chapter. As you know, Jeffrey passed away this, uh, this summer and what we're going to do is you have to send a paragraph in of this person and send some pictures in. Well, we have decided for all of the chapter, we gave them an index card and they write a memory about Jeffrey that they have and send in one picture. And we'll be putting them all into one big paragraph and sending all the pictures in and hopefully we will do good, we will get that award for Jeffrey. And this Monday, this last Monday, Brandon and I went to the county commissioners meeting and we interviewed the county commissioners. So that's that will be coming up later and hopefully we did a really good interview and they liked us. But now Brandon is going to talk about the sports. Hello, my name is Brandon and I'm going to be doing the sports. The football scores for last week, we won against Fairfield. Volleyball won or lost last week, and then this week the volleyball won. I think that's about it. Mm -hmm. oh, and sports coming up, we play Coldwater or South Central this week, and hopefully it'll be a good game. Hope you guys come out and support us. Thank you. And that's all we have for Tiger News. I'm Kinder Hacker, and that's Brandon Clark. And, I'll t and we'll see you later. Now that the uh, school has... Uh had their uh, menus and events. We'll continue with uh, menus and the Maxville VIP Center. Uh, they're having spaghetti and meatballs today. Uh, and then on Monday they'll be having salmon loaf. On Tuesday chili and on Wednesday, next Wednesday, bean uh, stroganoff. <coughs> the sunflowers are having uh, salmon and potatoes today. On Monday, they'll be having meatloaf, on Tuesday, fish, and on Wednesday, beef with mushroom gravy. Then we have uh, several events. You can tell that we think about food a lot here uh, in Stafford County. Uh, the St. John Catholic Parish is having their annual uh, turkey dinner, the 25th one, I think. Yes, the 25th uh, annual dinner by the Catholic, at the Catholic Wit Center, and it'll be Sunday, October 16th from noon until 1.30. Uh, Eight dollars is for adults, five for kindergarten through sixth grade, and under five years old are free. And then they'll have a drawing for a quilt and a hundred dollar cast prize and other prizes. 
and uh, the whole community is welcome. And then later, <coughs> October 15th, uh, the Recreation Commission is having a pizza and movie trip, and uh, that is at Stafford. They'll leave at 4.30 in the afternoon, and they'll see the movie, and the movie is The Help. And at uh, 10 o'clock, they'll return to St. John. They're going to have pizza at Elroy's at 6. Uh, also, the Recreation Commission on October 18th, uh, which is a Tuesday, uh, they'll go shopping at the Antique District in Smith's Market in Hutchinson. They're going to leave... Uh, at 9 in the morning and have lunch at the Dutch kitchen at your own expense and return at 2.30. <coughs> and then the next day, if you're still hungry, the Methodist Church is having their annual uh, Women's United Methodist Women Bazaar and they're having a soup, sandwich, and pie for six dollars if you're under nine for three dollars. Uh, yeah, nine and under. Uh, and they have homemade uh, baked goods and crafts, and I think most of us are familiar with what happens at the bazaar and at the turkey dinner and all of those things, because we do it every year. So the First United Methodist Church from 4.30 to 7 on October 19th. <coughs> and that's all the news and announcements I have for you at this time. The word of the day uh, is this, nothing is impossible. For those who don't have to do it, this is Jim Lakey hoping you have a great weekend and that we actually get some rain.